Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how we can download and install Python and PyCharm. We are also going to talk about different ways in which we can run our Python code. So essentially, if you would have been watching my previous videos, you already know that that I would be creating the whole play series on Python where we would understand each and every concept of Python in detail and we are also going to do hands on. Now to do that, we definitely need to download and install Python, right? But when you download and install Python on your system, you can directly interact with the Python interpreter. You can directly write the code. You can directly do that through the command prompt or, uh, you know, PowerShell as well. You can do it, but that is not a very user friendly UI to write code on. And that is why we have something called as PyCharm. PyCharm is just an IDE software. Now, when I say IDE, it means integrated development environment. So it is just a software where you can write the code, you can edit the code and you can organize your code. So this is just a software to, you know, just write the code. You know, it has its own intelligence as well. You can edit your code. You can organize it well. So no worries. We will be actually seeing what are the different ways in which we can run the Python code. And then we are going to proceed with download uh, with downloading and installing both Python as well as PyCharm. So when we talk about, uh, you know, different ways to run Python code, we can actually do it through the terminal. So once you install Python, you can directly go to your Windows search option. You can simply type in command prompt and you can simply click on open. Now, moment you do that, you are uh, into the command prompt and right now Python is not installed on my system. So if I type Python right now over here, it is actually going to, uh, you know, take me to the Microsoft uh, store and it, it is going to ask me to, you know, download Python right now. So essentially, if you have Python already installed, then in that case, it will show you the version of the Python and then we can start typing in our commands over here, Python commands over here and we can, you know, get the output for each and every line of code we write over here. So this is one way of running the code. Now, similarly, let me just close this. Now, similarly, you have something called as Windows PowerShell, right? Now, when I go to this Windows PowerShell, it is typically, uh, you know, the same thing. Now, when I again type Python over here, we don't have it installed. Now, the moment I click it again, it is going to take me to the Microsoft Store and ask me to download it. Now, in the similar way, once I download it, I can run here PowerShell commands, I can, uh, you know, uh, I can actually type in my Python code over here and interact with Python directly if I have it installed. So this is nothing, but this is the first option, which is called a terminal option, right? And the second option is terminal plus text editor. Now, what does it mean? So when I say command prompt, right, or the Windows PowerShell, both the things. Now, if I say uh, uh, just right now, this print statement statement is not going to work because nothing is installed. Python is not installed. So if I run it, it is going to give error. But if you see over here, what I have done is I have written one statement, one code statement. Now, the moment I press enter, right, I have to press enter for each and every line I write. I cannot write multiple lines over here, right? If I have to write a multi-line code, I cannot do it. So in this case, what do we do? We can actually, you know, uh, you can use any tool to do that, Visual Studio Code or anything. Just write in your multi-line commands over here. So you can simply say, you know, whatever, whatever, ABC. If you have multiple lines of code, you can uh, simply write it over here like this and then you can actually save this file now once you save this file you can actually save it as .py file let's say i say test .py right and i save it now moment i save it as a py file now the, the, this is just a code that i want to run now i can actually call this file i can actually call this file in my command interface now what will happen is the moment i run this file all my commands will run one after the other. So that is nothing but terminal plus text editor option. Right now, see, both these options are not very comfortable, right? If you have to write, you know, the long code and you have to, you know, call one function, you know, you have two, three files and you're calling one file from the other file. Now, in that case, you will not be very comfortable with this UI. So that is why we have something called as software IDEs like PyCharm. 
right similarly you have visual studio code as well now visual studio code most of you would be familiar with it you can not just write python but you know any language you can do it uh, you know uh, you can write c sharp in visual studio code or you know it is used for multiple uh, purposes now i am specifically taking out pycharm here because i am more comfortable in pycharm right now the fourth option is research and development ides now these are specific to writing python so if you have heard about spider notebooks jupyter notebooks now these are the interfaces where you have cell by cell and you just write your code in those cells right your python code in that cells so that is also development ide similarly if you are coming from the data bricks background or uh, from the data engineering background and you know about data bricks i have already you know created the whole series on uh, databricks you can actually run all the python code in the databricks as well so it also becomes a research and development ide right so these are the different ways in which you can run python code so without any further ado what i'll do is i'll directly jump on to this particular portion where we are going to download and install python plus pycharm so remember that i will paste this link in the description box so that you all can go ahead download python and pycharm so let me just follow this particular link on python.org so the moment i click here i land into this python.org uh, page you can actually see see this i'm going to download the second latest version right which is released on december 6 2022 right so uh, basically this is not the release date but anyways so i'll uh, actually go ahead and click on the download option over here so the moment i do that you can actually see that I'm going to do, uh, you know, I'm going to download Windows installer 64 bit. And let me just click on this. Now you will see that it the file has got downloaded. Let me just click on open file. And now you can see when I do this, remember that we will do the customized installation right now and remember to add python.exe to path otherwise you will land into a lot of problems now once you click this particular option just click on customize installation make sure all these options are checked and then click on next because we need all of this we need the documentation we need the pip we are going to talk about pip and uh, you know all these things later on as well so let's click on next and make sure that these options are also installed now basically you can choose a custom location so let me also uh, you know choose a custom location you can always go ahead and choose a custom location so let me go to my c drive here let me create a new folder and let me name that folder as python 3 1 z uh, let, let me say 310 i think uh, let's keep it this and there's a folder already that i have let me just delete it so i have this folder python 310 in my c drive so let me simply browse it and let me go to my c drive and select python 310 click on ok so the moment i do that i'll simply click on install and yes option and let it get installed now while the time this python is getting installed what we will do is we will go ahead with pycharm as well let me click on this pycharm now the moment i do that remember you will be uh, you know sent to this jetbrains uh, you know um, uh, this JetBrains website. So basically you have two options here either to download professional or community version always download community version because it is free professional ones already you know it has a 30 day trial period. So let me just click on download over here. So my PyCharm has is getting downloaded. In the meantime you know you can actually see this Python setup is in progress. It is pre-compiling few libraries. It is installing. And the moment this PyCharm community gets downloaded, we are simply going to open it. Now, in case you have any questions, any doubts, write it in the comment section. I will try to cover whatever I can. So let me click on open file for the PyCharm community edition. So the moment I click on this open file, you will actually see that 
this particular window appears click on yes and then click on next now here to install PyCharm you don't have to do anything just simply click on next and okay let me change this particular location so basically I already have this folder over here in my C drive because I downloaded it earlier so let me simply delete this folder first so basically uh, since I already downloaded it before right that is the reason I have this folder already so I'm just deleting this folder so that this place is empty and it can get downloaded you know now it is empty now you can actually see now I'll click on next so it worked out and then simply click on next and you don't have to do anything just click on install so this is an option where you know you don't have to do anything just click on next 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 and you are done so let me just close these windows which I opened by mistake and then let me go back to the Python now you can see that the Python setup is successful right python is successfully installed if you want you can go ahead read the documentation but right now we are not going to do that so let's close this let's go to the command prompt so the moment i click on this command prompt i type python now you will see that it says python 3.10.9 right so you can actually see that it has downloaded python now if i want to you know print any statement right a b c for example if i click on enter a b c is there now if i say 5 plus 7 right you have the answer 12 now if i say 7 minus 8 you have the answer so this is where how you can actually code now similarly if i go to powershell right and i type in same commands right let's say say python over here now again you can see that it has you know started uh, telling you which version of python is installed similarly if you want to print anything right you can print it now if you want to exit right i can simply type in this exit command over here and I'm, i exited out of python so this is how you can use windows powershell and command prompt to uh, you know work directly with the python but right now we have installed pycharm so let me just click on run and click on finish so the moment i do that this download was very simple in fact it gets downloaded very fast itself i think hardly it takes two minutes now you can actually see that that this pie charm has actually opened up right now here you need to click on the new project so the moment you click on new project over here what you have to do is you have to select the options on uh, basically you have to uh, select the location where you need to save your project that you would be working on right so let's check this out uh, let me just cancel these uh, which were opened by mistake let me pin it as well and reopen it 